Hello. Hello. Right, we are on Twitch. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Uh, good evening. I generally the English version I do that morning, morning on my side. Evening on the US side, but like today I just wanted to play. After having a meeting with um, our team, just because I wanted to play, I tried some stuff. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so I wanted to, uh, as you can see, we have uh, this new um, start screen. It's not really new, but it's the new visuals uh, that we updated. So you can see Damia with all his imaginary friends and uh, Captain Velvet Meteor in a more dynamic uh, pose. So it's, it, what is interesting is like you have the both art, uh, one done by Fabrice Ninzi. Uh, on the right side, that is, um, was uh, our director and uh, illustrator at uh, Ankama, working on Dolphus, Wakfu, and all those stuff that uh, he, he worked with us, uh, Captain Velvet. And on the left side, you have um, the work of David Tako, illustrator also, comic artist. Comic artist, you say that? And um, yeah, he, he I, I really love his style too. And so that's our kind of, um, they, they did really a nice illustration. So here is um, the new star screen. We have a, also a better understanding of, of Damia uh, in the middle of that. I really like it, it's dynamic and yeah, it's cool. So that will be uh, on the update in June. Uh, on Steam, and we have some stuff that are in progress here. You will probably not see it because it's really like uh, the star screen is to see. We see the other stuff is more like balanced stuff. So if you look at at the gameplay so far, you will see that uh, often I say you have too much uh, power or orbs, um, and therefore too much power combos. So that's something we we kind of uh, fixed less of those you still have a lot because it didn't need to be fun right but uh, we have less of those and uh, yeah <clears throat> and uh, today so last time we did so what was last time we did a slime no we didn't do slime yeah, slime we already did we did um huh summertime render I think for today the next step was um, Ghost Reaper Girl, if I'm not mistaken. But I I also wanted to show you some little stuff we did. Uh, one thing we did is that the loading screen in, in the house is way uh, quicker, and so you you have less. Uh, yeah, you you feel that you you are transitioning between rooms, but it's not it's not like too much neither. Um, and that, that's a good thing. I don't hear anything anymore, so let's put the sound back a little bit here. One, two, one, two, one, two, two, two. Um, in here, so yeah, I forgot, like, here in this room is the room of uh, uh, Aya, it's the, it's the little sister of Damien. And uh, you can see in the bed you have three, uh, three uh, puppet, and if you can, you you probably uh, recognize Persephone from our first game here. And the second one there, the Asian doll, is actually a, a little Easter egg for a game called Olia, the, or Olija, that is a game done by the musician. Uh, who who did all the, the music for Captain Velvet Meteor? So if you don't know what it is, go check Olia O L I J A. Really nice game. <clears throat> and here you have the parents' house. They didn't do all their the boxes yet, but you have here on the table a manga of uh, summertime render. 
since that's the color. So yeah, we, we put a lot of little details there. And so for now, um, we'll go in this room. And no, we will go in the spaceship. And we will do what needs to be done. The, oh, in in yeah, important stuff for the that will be announced. Uh, we, uh, softly, we will announce that just like on Twitter. Really. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing is that you can now um, skip the tutorial. So what will happen is when you start the game, generally you are here. That's the start, like the introduction of the game. You can skip that. Then you arrive on the crash site, like far from the. You are on the capsule that uh, sent you uh, out of the spaceship. A little bit like uh, those uh, Super Saiyan uh, capsule room. And what you can do here is skip all those levels and arrive here directly in the last level. So you don't lose um, a, a lot of the story, but you lose all those um, tutorial. And so for people who don't like tutorial, they can go there and try to, to learn the game by themselves. And, um, and if they, they understand, then it's good. And they still have. So that's something we will uh, we add on the update. Plus, like you have the um, the little, uh, let's see. You have those little. Um, mm, 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 I don't have the word. Uh, second. Oh yeah, the power orbs stuff and that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty. So let's go with Ghost Girl. for Captain Velvet Meteor. Captain Velvet Meteor and Chloe Love versus Chrome Dams. Damn, it's no use JP. I'm trying to shoot at them but it goes it goes through. Hang in there Captain. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a setup on your meteor gun that would work on these things. Well, hurry up then. The flash mode just stuns them for a while, and they keep coming after me. Geez, I told you I didn't want to go to go to that creepy deserted town. Roger that, Captain. But the scanners don't lie. They are detecting another energy crystal in the area. The energy signature is very faint, like it's coming from inside something. Okay, I don't like this, but I trust you. So now... What do we do with this scary ghost chasing after me? I cannot run forever. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, um, <clears throat> it's difficult without knowing what they are. Phew, we're not too late. Wait a minute. Who is this? She just appeared out, out of nowhere. Ghost girl is here. Wow. For real? Her giant feet is actually talking. Hey, Kai. What are you doing? Coming up with this name on your own. Oops, sorry, I just got so excited about you, Chloe. That's weird. Um, excuse me? Oh, hello. Sorry for bar barging in like that. I'm Chloe Love, and this is Kai. My name is Kai Lord. I need to find voice bits tonight, and I must admit, I, I'm not uh, so. Uh, how do you say? Pumped to make a lot of voice today, but I'll try my best. Hello, name's Captain Velvet Meteor, Space Explorer. And I'm this loyal robot psychic. JP is my name. Adventurer is my job. It's very nice to meet you, Lady Chloe Love, the ghost girl. Mm, please just call me Chloe. I don't have much sign. JP is providing me tactical support, but we cannot we cannot in a pinch here. You did well holding these guys until we arrived. You can count on 
us for now. You can stop worrying. It's our job to exterminate, it. exterminate them. Thanks, my gun is pretty much useless against them. Direct shot have no effect. Captain Velvet Meteor, the captain's meteor gun can release shots of concentrated light upward to reveal the battleground. Yeah, so far I've been using it to keep them at a distance. That's great. When they are in the light, leave them to us. Only our attack can take care of them. Roger that. Good to have you on our side. I was almost ready to just run away from this creepy place. If we don't slay them all right now, they will attack or possess someone else. I cannot allow that. Here we go. Okay, new character, new technique. So as you can see, um, Captain cannot. He go through those one. He cannot like. But they do. Stop the attack from the shadows. And so what we want to do is to enlighten them with our knowledge. <clears throat> that was our job. Just enlighten them. That and uh, and then do a, a like a Chloe attack on them. And it's the only way to the only way to kill them. Music? Can you hear it? Oh yeah. Ready. Here. Here we are. Music is better than my voice for this one. Especially because it's going to be a little bit more silent. I think it was in purpose that we don't have so much music in the first level. We have only ambient sound that we cannot hear so much for now. But Phew, we are done here. Is everything alright, Captain? My sensor indicates your body is shaking right now. It's just too dark around here and I don't like it. Yeah, we won't be able to hit a thing if we end up trapped in darkness. Captain, you must be very careful and stay in the light. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Chloe, what's with these ghosts like we the dogs anyways? They are evil spirits. This one escaped from the realm of ha Hades. The realm of Hades? The afterlife, if you prefer. The afterlife? So you mean they are actually ghosts? Don't be afraid when evil spirits cause mischief. It's part of our job to exp exterminate them. Exactly. We should check the next streets since you have to move forward, right? I'm sure there will be more of them down the road. <coughs> but, but, but it's kind of very dark over there. Take heart, Captain. With Lady Chloe and Mr. Kai now by our side, by your side, we have nothing to fear. Just stay close and trust me, okay? Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Here, as you can see normally in the in the previous version, by just killing those uh, what they were like seven or seven or eight uh, minions like dark uh, black uh, stuff. I would have already two, probably two or three orbs. Now I didn't have to get them. No, even one. So um, yeah, the chance to have orbs now is big, and it's good because then you really need to pick them up and you really need to keep them.
Nice to meet you, Mr. Kai. So wait a minute. You're you can transform yourself into the giant giant thief. Scythe. Well, it's some people like transformation, or maybe it's Chloe's power. She's a spirit medium who can let any spirit in her body and draw on its abilities. Spirit medium? Yeah, we can be a vessel for spirits and draw them. Powers. In the real world, spirits need a physical body to generate power. That's why I possess Chloe and give her my power. It's a good trick. So you two are partners then? Chloe is my idol and my master. I want to make Chloe's flame famous all over the world. Well, as we said before, there, there's been a huge jailbreak in the realm of Hades and a lot of evil spirits spirits are still escaping. Yeah have escaped it to the real world. We're here to take care of them. Okay, so you're preventing them from wreaking havoc. havoc. It's our job, yes. We are ghost reapers. We work for a bureau for a bureau of Hades called Arkham Bullet. Captain, do you hear that? Now that's amazing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm not sure I would enjoy meeting ghosts every day. As a spirit medium, Chloe is very appeal appealing, appealing as a vessel to possess and control, so evil spirits are drawn to her. And as a thief, 
Fist, fist. No, stop it. I can cut their spiritual bodies. Spiritual bodies, so that's why the meteor gun doesn't work. Chloe, I should really stick with you, I mean, if you're okay with it. We're looking for an energy source to repair my ship, and JP has located it a bit further, deep in the ground. Of course, we're gonna help you. I won't leave you. I won't leave you here in the dark with the evil spirit roaming around, right, Kai? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's fine. Let's go then. Ta -da. We've got some work to do. Phew, the street lamps are still function functioning in this street. Yeah, this should make things easier. Look over there, Chloe. More ghosts. Let's stop them from running away. Come on, Captain. Captain, I detect another bomb falling from space to your position. This one will explode in 30, 13 turns. Run!
good spot to catch our breath. Okay. These evil spirits are everywhere. Hiding in the shadow, I it feels like they are they always eye something on us. Captain? Yes. I was wondering, isn't it weird for it's weird for a space explorer like you to be afraid of the dark? I mean, you're basically traveling in the dark and lonely emptiness. Well, I mean, it's not really that I'm afraid of the dark. It's just... No need to act tough. Fear is a perfectly natural emotion. It's good to sometimes be afraid. It's just an emotion like any other. You have to learn to live with it. To learn to live with it? Yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of horror movies. I even have a DVD collection of them. I like them, but that doesn't mean I'm okay being scared. In fact, I watch them even if I'm scared. I'm not saying you shouldn't run away from your fears, but just denying them won't change anything. I see, so it gets easier once you accept you're afraid of something. You can trust Chloe on this. She started as a in a horror action show called Ghost with a Girl. Well, I, I think it doesn't have anything to do with this. It was just a very nice late night TV series. And Chloe may look like a minor, but she's grown up. She's 28 years old. She's my mastermind idol and I'm her number one super fan. Uh, yes, um, that's right. Let's go. We've rested, rested enough. So as you can see, Kyloid, uh, Kyloid is um, quick. Thank you. 
e at least each two turns I need to to do the Oh god, I'm gonna have to the this combo if I don't want to attack. <clears throat> but I, I'm, I'm happy with change for the power controls. I feel like I have less. I don't have every turn. Oh no, he's down there. That's for the optional um, quest. If I want to have the optional quest, I need to find every ghost. But I saw a ghost going down there, so then I don't want to. Something feels weird around here. There's no evil spirit inside. Yeah, and all the light are gone. Maybe it's a trap just like before. Stay on your guard. Let's go say hi to that big guy up there.
this place weird? You both saw that, right? That big monster turning into a ghost. Yeah. The evil spirits are acting strange here. I agree. It looks like they are in league with the enemy army. Like they are merging together. We've spotted this monster army everywhere on the planet. But this is the first place we see that happen. Do you have any idea where these monsters are from? Are they native of, of this place? We're not really sure. I never saw a planet like this in all my space adventures. Maybe this enemy army also comes from somewhere else, another dimension or another world. We've already met people from other worlds suddenly brought here with no apparent reason, so this assumption seems valid to me. I think we s I think the same thing happened to us. We were hunting our spirits in the dark streets of a co of a town called Yokohama. And instantly, instantly, we were here, in this abandoned city, and we heard you fighting in the distance. So, you also stand strand on this planet just like us. You know, Chloe, that's why we are trying to reach this energy source to repair my spaceship and leave this planet. And now that I think about it, Captain, St strange things seem to happen around this energy crystal. You think that's why big monsters are turning into ghosts? Yes, that would be my guess, Captain. All the more reason to get to this energy source quickly and take it away from this city. Well, you need to go deeper to find it. You should see a subway entrance near your position. Then, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Subway tunnels are always good. So you have this... Okay, here is subway. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Subway tunnels, ghosts, and uh, water. All what we like. So now, we need to go kill the garden. A lot of lives. Like, that's the moment I don't want to be. I don't want to stay in the darkness and just kill the biggest, biggest one.
That was me. <clears throat> Because this art is, is this underground area. Good news, Captain. You are now very close to the energy source. Right at that. Looks like the enemy army is trying very hard to keep us away from it. It's pitch black down here, and we can hear disturbing noise all around us. There's definitely a link between what you're looking for and the event spirit act activity down here. I agree, my sensors are indicating a huge number of them wandering in this underground. Look! Yeah, strange portal over there. Yikes. One more creepy thing. The Elven spirits must be using it as a gateway. Well, I guess there's no turning back now. Come on, we need to destroy it before we completely over overrun. Agreed, let's go, Chloe. So now you see you have a var variation of the portal that you had on. I think it was Princess, mainly. And those portals are... Uh, and it seems like you have always darkness around them, so you can at least soon walk around. the spirit portal
very damp. Feels like we're in an underground cavern. There's something rolling in front of us. Yeah, I hear it lurking in the dark. It's echoing all around us. Oh there, can you spot that huge black sheep? Yeah, it looks at us with one big eye. Everyone, the energy signature is coming from inside it. That's why I did only get a faint signal before. It's kind of indicate that this thing's Thing is in fact a massive quantity of evil spirits mashed together around the energy crystal. Are you serious, JP? You want me to fight this giant ghost in total darkness? Don't worry, Captain. As long as we are together. And don't panic. We can slay it. We just need more light. Lady Chloe is right, but it's so big I am afraid the flash mode won't be enough to stun it. You need to find a way to light up this place. Roger that. We'll do that. What we can. Ha ha, a worthy opponent, just as Chloe deserves. But she's not afraid. Chloe is a magical girl who makes men and women, cats, fall in love with them. Remember her name. Go, girl! Hey, calm down, Kai. I'm sorry about this. He gets over excited when we sit more. Ha ha ha, don't worry about it. It's good to laugh. I feel more. I feel I'm not that afraid anymore. This is the grand finale of our ghost slaying adventure. Activate Meteor Gun! Let's go! Everybody is singing like you have Kai Yod, um, <laughs> Slime, and NJP. You put them together to a band. They're sure it's really loud and noisy. And probably a little bit too crazy.
Maybe redo that a bit quicker. Let's keep the text.
didn't find any deed. Go back, you bunch of creepy ghosts. Yeah, this is Captain. Another energy crystal. I initi initiate the transfer to the Velvet Wonder now. Be ready to receive. <laughs> I like the little minions being blown up by the teleportation power. Hey, hey, Captain. It's over. Good job, everyone. Chloe, thank you so much. You're just amazing. We made it thanks to you, so I was wondering if you would. And well, now that I'd be too careful of the evil spirit slaying, I mean, you know, if you like it, it would be great to have you with us in the Velvet Wonder until we can find a way to for all of us to get home. Thank you, Captain. You are one our best bet to get back up to our world, so I gladly accept your invitation. You'll see, once the Velvet Wonder is repaired, we can finally leave this planet. Ghost Girls, next adventure, a heroic escape from a mysterious planet far in the outer space. Please look forward to the adventure of the kawaii master wrapped in her cute costume. What's wrong with all of Sudakai? It's like some preview for the next episode of Late Night TV series. <laughs> And Damia opened the window. Yeah, because the window was just closed. Happy ending. Light, come in. Evil spirit, get out. Phew, it's over. All these creepy shapes in the dark with just grandpa too. Dusty curtains, stuck window blind. This window was a ter terrible opponent. Well, you remember to tell mom to change the light bulb. This room really needs a good cleanup. Anyway, mission complete. And that's it. So, I think we did all the episode, right? The only one that is still missing is Sabotage in Space with Mr. Light Forger. And that will be for the next time. That will be for the next time. <clears throat> so, thank you for staying until the end of this video um yeah next time we'll uh, have the final chapter it might take a little bit more time uh, also show a little bit like the bingo challenge i'm i'm not sure i will be able to do it because it's kind of difficult uh but we will keep you informed and also keep you informed with the um the update that will come on steam and that will kind of wrap up this game for now at least <clears throat> for a long uh, some period of time you know 2024 is not best year for uh, indie developers in general and it's really difficult to find uh finance uh we can have a video about that one one of these days but i think you can search on youtube already and see a lot of developers and publishers well, maybe not publishers but a lot of people talking about that 2023 was not good uh 2024 seems more difficult for now um, but at least we will be able to do this last, uh, update and yeah, and have it for, uh, for steam ready for June. So 